Oops. <laughs> hello, hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and I'm delighted I can welcome you as always for our uh, Christmas craft session. Today I have this super pretty ornament, Christmas ornament made only from those circles. Uh, minimum supplies needed, uh, no cost really, uh, no skills as well, a little bit of time. I really promise you, you will love it, enjoy it and the effect will surprise you as you can see I hope. So join me for today's session and I'm gonna run for Hannah because she just woke up. Enjoy! Hello, sleepyhead. <laughs> did you have a good sleepy? I hope you did. <gasps> I hope you did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> You don't need many tools. Uh, a must have is a punch, any shape you have. I have circle, but if you have rectangle, triangle, a square, oval, please do feel free to use that. Not too big shape, you know, pretty small like that. I have around two centimeters. Plenty punched circles I have, and I use watercolor paper, pretty thick one. I think this one is 200 GSM or 250, something like that and a plastic bubble and I got this one uh, in a set of four uh, online and this was around four dollars three pounds around four dollars so to start off we need to glue the bubble together and I'm gonna use one more tool that we will need a hot glue hot glue gun that's what we will need so I'm gonna just add a few drops here and there just to join them two together there we go, perfect. Any excess if there is any, just clean it, clear it off. Okay, I think I need a few more punched circles. So I'm gonna take my card. Mm -hmm. Now this uh, is, I think, even like definitely a beginner level. Anything can do, even kids. Even kids can do that. The more circles you have, the better, because uh, you don't have to stop while you're working. So just make sure you have enough of the circles. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna be punching a few more, but I'm gonna do it off camera because it's extremely loud. <laughs> mm, I think I have plenty circles and I'm gonna I use just some uh, glass jar so it will be easier. I need to think where is the middle and I think that the middle is kind of there. So wherever my middle is, you start off by adding your circle in the middle. Now I am using watercolor paper but it's it, you don't have to. You can use any paper, any type of cardstock you only have. Our next step is to overlap each circle. So now my next circle will be uh, like that and I'm making sure that my glue uh, is either in the middle but not, glue, not glued down to the next circle. It shouldn't be glued, it's only overlapping. Let me show you. And I'm just adding the, the glue on one side like this and then Circle number two is also, uh, I, I'm, I'll see if I, I'm sharp for you enough. I think I am. And I'm just overlapping on this side. There we go. So you can see that it's like, yeah, like this. So we're overlapping. We are going to do exactly the same thing on the other two. There we go. Like that. Mm hmm maybe more on this side even look don't be so precise <laughs> simply because uh, you know we're gonna have so many circles and nobody will see it so no stress there no stress if something is uneven so that's what we have and then layer number two question is will we be layering 
kind of trying to overlap those and I think that's what we should be doing. So I will be overlapping now um, like here. Then I'm gonna do it opposite direction so it will be easier for me. So here I'm overlapping. There we go. Then I'm moving forward to the next one next to it which is here. I love that and I'm trying to be pretty precise when it comes to uh, you don't have to but I'm trying to make it kind of even so I have two here two here so middle two on the side two here two here just look how the circles are going basically and um, just tr then I'm closing those two here there we go and just try to kind of um, try to see where you can close your cir circles, you know? So if my two circles are here like that, I'm gonna try and close them. If my circles are here like that, I'm gonna try and close them. So we're overlapping that with our paper, with our paper circles. I think this already looks <laughs> beautiful and once we finish, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Mm, I wanted to fast forward, but maybe not yet. So I have four here, four there. So I'm yet again going here. Then I'm gonna try to make the opposite to my circle. Let's see, opposite like there. Oh, this one has color, <laughs> so no. Uh, opposite there. There we go. As you can tell, I'm not adding glue in the middle. I'm trying to add glue. There we go. I'm trying to add glue in one kind of side. So the other side is dry and... Oops! Another pink. <laughs> dry and it's sticking out. There we go. I hope you can see now. Still. Well, I mean in general. <laughs> I hope you can see it well. Okay. It will look like a kind of disco ball nearly, <laughs> I think. Okay, so now I'm going, I'm thinking to overlap next to each other because my space is bigger. So I'm going to overlap next to each other. There we go. And I think that starts to be easier now to understand the overlapping. Let's see. You see? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> so... I'm gonna be overlapping maybe this one here. Now, as I said, no, actually no. I will overlap this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, it shouldn't be like that. Underneath it. Just look at the uh, how the how the circles are. So this one, uh, no, this one is broken. Two seconds. So I'm thinking to actually overlap underneath it, yes, the same way as this goes. No, actually, you know what, it doesn't matter, I see. No, let's try again. I've never done that before, so mistakes are more than welcome. So no, I'm going to go back to my previous thinking, which was here. Uh-huh. More circles. And... I will overlap here as I was thinking at first place. First thoughts are usually the best. <laughs> and going back to overlap this one here. Now I'm not worried about extra glue because I simply will cover that. Now, as always, please, please, please be careful with the glue gun. If you are a child and watching this video, make sure you are asking your adult uh, to help you, to supervise you. And if you are an adult, but you have troubles <laughs> sometimes, like myself, uh, make sure that you have maybe a bowl with hot, uh, no, with cold water next to you. Okay, so now I'm, I kind of lost track of on overlapping. I'm just going, <laughs> as the heart says to me, so I'm going above and above and that's it. Not even around. But you know what? It's okay because nobody will see how perfect that is or that isn't. It's super easy, as you can tell. One is overlapping another, and another is overlapping another, and so on, and so on. I think that's very much easy. <laughs> I'm going to maybe do the rest off camera and come back to you in just a second. I'm halfway there, so I figured I'll show you. It's not even, 
too much but oh I know how it looks like it looks like pine cone <laughs> it does look like pine cone yay now that I see this so pine cones are not that perfect anyway it looks beautiful as you can easily tell and it's I'm going into circles right now basically covering each other's circles <laughs> and overlapping mm, I'm kind of three to two thirds on the way <laughs> it's very time consuming and for patient people but you can tell yourself the effect is amazing I'm gonna keep on adding my circles in, in the circle motion so I really really would love you to try it because you'd be surprised of the effects and you know not everyone is into crafts and mixed media and all those so I think this kind of basic design and idea is just for everyone Honestly, I really believe that. As we are heading till the, to the end, I'll show you maybe how I'm gonna finish it. Although, <laughs> I'm not too sure how. Well, I guess we just have to keep on adding circles until we are happy with and until we have some space left, I'm guessing. Now, uh, regards the spacing actually, um, I think it's up to yourself how much space you leave in between. I was just adding it kind of halfway, I guess, of each circle, kind of, you know. It's not a mathematics, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't even have to be pretty. But you know what it has to be? Oh no, this one is dirtish. It has to, I don't know if I color it or not, so I'd rather have only white. Uh, you know, the most important is for you to try it, to enjoy it, and maybe you could make those with your friend, that it's not crafty, but you wish to do something together, maybe with your mom, or maybe with your children, or maybe with your partner. You know, I think oh, I would love my Lucas to craft with me. I've already asked him this year to do a card making session with me. It was such an easy, nice card. It's not on the channel yet, I think. Well, anyway, <laughs> he said no, unfortunately. But I really hope that one day he will say yes and he will somehow appear here on the channel okay so I'm coming to the end to the you know closing as you can see and that's not a rocket science really you don't have to do anything special just closing down the circles right next to the the, the little hinge thing now question is will I paint it will I color it will I glue it uh, some will I add some glitter or will I do nothing with it I really love how it looks white and it could be beautiful decoration for window not only the Christmas tree itself but for window have a look at that I know what it looks like not only pine cones but actually this thing um, it's called in Polish karchoch um, karchoch I'll show you but in English let me find I have it you know? Artichokes. Exactly. Karchochy. Karchochy in English, uh, in Polish. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish it that and leave it actually. You know what? I think I found something pretty. This is from packaging, from pine cones actually. <laughs> Luxury pine cones that I, I hope to use in another video. And this was on the packaging, but it's so beautiful, such a perfect bow. So I'm thinking that I could literally use this to hang my bubble I think I can call this finished uh, and done I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did if you found it inspirational and helpful please 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 do share this video with your friends on your social media on Facebook on Instagram or on Pinterest tag me to your projects Maremi Small Art Maremi Small Art I would love to see your uh, bubbles your paper ornaments, really easy and simple, affordable, not many tools needed for beginners, for those who just start uh, crafts or those who are just seasonal crafters for Christmas that they love making things themselves. So thank you so much for watching. As always, a pleasure to be with you. Have fun creating, get those circles and yeah, and have fun. Bye!